All of us are gathered here today in support of the bail reform that went into effect on January 1st. Yeah. Less reform only brings us back to the situation that has been existing for decades. Yeah. Jews have been getting beaten in the street. I live in Crown Heights. This has been happening for decades. To claim that this new thing, that this bail reform thing is the thing that's activated it and put Jews in danger is a lie. That's right. Mm -hmm. We know there's an anti-Semitism problem. We're worried about it. My friends are affected by this. Now today we are hearing a segment of the population using our bail reform to attack the institutions that we're fighting for. They're saying, well, this is about anti-Semitism. That's not true. This is about letting violent people on the streets. Those are not the facts. This is about a system that exposed a problem around our society not doing enough for people with mental health problems. I am the senior rabbi of the largest congregation, uh, the largest synagogue in Brooklyn. And my people are afraid. We've tripled the security at our synagogue. It, the people that, who are our neighbors are afraid to walk down the street because they're afraid they're gonna get attacked. It is natural when we are afraid that we cast about for quick fixes and solutions that we think will make us safe. But this is not a solution. Mm -hmm. This is a lie. It is a lie to say that rolling back bail reform will make Jews safer. We don't believe that rolling back the landmark New York reform, bail reform law would address the root causes of anti-Semitism, and we will not support amendments that make our state's criminal justice system yeah. less just. Mm -hmm. Making sure that we understand that we can and should and must stand up against anti-Semitism and understand that our brothers and sisters in the Jewish community have real fear based in reality. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, stand up for the black and brown and poor people who are being prejudiced in the bail reform system. Yeah. Yeah. Both of those things can happen at the same time. Mm -hmm. And any attempt to separate us, we are here to tell you today, it will fail. Yes. There are people who are running for president who are now apologizing for their votes in pushing the crime bill, for apologizing for three strikes and you're out. People running for president are apologizing for the abuses of stop, question, and frisk. We don't want your apologies 10 years, 20 years later. We want the change we need right now. So we know what happens. Well, I will end with, we know what happens when fear is allowed to push. It snows automatically. But all manner of things occur when people are afraid. Leaders do things that harms community for people they call other. As a progressive city, a progressive state, we must reject fear. We must stand up and have the courage of what we believe. I don't want the courage of hindsight 10 years later. We want the courage of right now. Thank you. Yeah.